Okay, I'm with you. Kai Kipacheco into his hand. Tick tock. Give it him all. He's lost his rope. Down early. 7.14 seconds. More rousing. More rousing. JB says he needed more rosin. I'm pretty sure I saw those guys back there with a can of some concoction and a torch heating it up. And I've heard a great line from this guy about rosin on your rope. What is it, JB? They should have put the more rosin on it. No, the hanging and dragging one. Oh, you get hung up or you not. Know <laughs> okay, that's JB's mentality. Just, you know what, hang and drag it doesn't matter, right? You tie it in there to where when you nod, you're scared to fall off because you're going to hang up. <laughs> well, this is a scary sport, and I guess that would be one reason to be scared because you're more than likely not going to come off. Midnight Rock, a number, we've seen a number of bulls out in this round that are former ABBI, either for charity or other levels of the ABBI success. Pacheco's on the board, not only handles the spin, but Midnight Rock looked like he was gonna cover this whole arena. Yeah, so if I'm looking at Pacheco right now as in the big picture of things, he's seven and a half last night. He makes it 88 here. Outstanding ride right here. Um, he's going to make a championship round, get a good pick. I really like where Pacheco's at moving forward. You mentioned it, 88 points slots him into second, Mac, and that will absolutely be something to build on. This championship round so far is completely wide open. He's getting pretty good right here. There it is! Hocus Pocus' usual magic does not work on Pacheco. Only the second time that bull has been conquered, and Kaiki has to love it. <laughs> People better start buying their Pacheco stock because it is <laughs> rising right now. 89 and a quarter. When you see Kaiki and his head's down the way it is right now, and, and it's been that way every ride, you know? It's not just this one. This has been building up to this point. This guy is hard to get on the ground. Great job. You started to say you better buy Kaiki Pacheco stock. I thought you were gonna say action figures. That too, man. That just, he needs to merchandise that sort of stuff. Pacheco moves into the number one position, trying to win his first event since 2018. To the right, Lima goes down, and Kaiki Pacheco, the 2018 PBR world champ, returns to the winner's circle, putting together a two for three weekend, and finally garnering some big points in his quest to win that second gold buckle. Yeah, Pacheco, he looks outstanding to me. This guy, I don't know that anybody is riding any better than Pacheco is right now. Remember, he started the season going four for four in New York, three for three in Chicago, two for three in Manchester, and now a two for three weekend gives him the win. He's with Kate. Kaiki, well done. Your first trip back to the winner's circle since your championship season. Describe the effort it's taken to get back to this spot. I'm very happy to win this event on the second half for the world title. I'm very happy for to ride my bulls. Just say thank you, God, for helping me all the time. My dear friend, my friends, my family, all the fans came here to watch us. It's Hard times, but we try to work hard to give the best for the fans and the sponsors. <laughs> and you continue to move up in the world standings. You know what it takes to get a gold buckle at the end of the season. What does it take now till November to get it again and make a run? I will give my best to ride down my bulls, make my job, and work for the second world title. Congratulations, Kate. Thank you.
Taiki highlighted it. He knows there's a lot more work to do, but a win like this could indeed propel him towards that top spot in the world. He gets the 100 points. That is the lion's share, what everybody is working towards. That's going to help him move up those world standings. But for Pacheco, let's show you it again. The Kubota track.